Today I'm going to show you how the Layer 2 Data Center CLI will automatically provision HealthBot based on the inventory and cabling uh, data that's provided by the CLI. So what you're looking at right here is HealthBot, and what we have is essentially a pairing of collectors and checking mechanisms. So we can see that all of the collectors are turned on, so we're, we're gathering data right now, so collector, collector. And in one case, we actually have the inventory collection and monitoring running. And what that means is, if I were to go to the inventory panel here, we can see that these are our devices, and the information uh, that we're collecting for inventory purposes is displayed here on the right. So at present, the only playbook that's running that's, that's using the collected data right now is inventory. What I'd like to show you is how we will dynamically create these checking instances based on the configuration of the Layer 2 data center. So uh, what you see here is the command line interface for the Layer 2 data center CLI. And this is using the Junos MGT core technology, but it is a separate CLI instance. It is not running on a Junos device. It is running on, on a server. And if I were to show you, for example, the inventory, and I can say display set, we can see that these are the devices in our data center, and the stanza arrangement that you see here is an aspect of this Layer 2 data center application. So we can see these are the devices. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load merge the configuration of this lab, and with that, I get the cabling information. So this cabling information really declares the expected uh, link or cabling of the devices in the data center. And really what we're seeing is, is a link pairing between you know, from device, from interface, to device, to interface. And this information uh, can be discovered uh, off existing devices running the network, or it could be manually provided or overridden by the operator. Now, I haven't hit commit yet, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you this terminal. And this terminal is really just tailing a log file. And so when I hit commit, what you're going to see here is a series of logs that are describing what the uh, commit daemon is doing with the data from the CLI. And what we're going to see is that it's going to start creating a whole bunch of health checks into HealthBot and activating, and it's using the information in the CLI to compute what to do. So I'm going to type in commit. And here what we can see is all of this logging information is an artifact of the commit daemon running and uses this cabling information as well as the inventory information to understand the relationships of the devices, their roles, and their interfaces. Now that we've turned on a lot of these services, you can see that we're, we're starting interface health checks. There are uh, also link aggregation health checks that are enabled, and there are cabling checks that are enabled as a result of this configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for this uh, commit to complete before proceeding with the next part. Okay, so we can see that the commit is done. And if I go back to the uh, HealthBot web interface and refresh this uh, output, what we can see is now all of these checking playbooks now have running instances. So my interface status check, um, I've got an LACP check, and I also have a cabling check. So if we wanted to see what the Layer 2 Data Center commit backend did, we can see that, for example, for the cabling check, it dynamically created all of these link check playbook instances as a result of committing in the CLI. And likewise, on the LACP check, what we have here is all of the LACP checks uh, that we see here. And just to kind of dig in slightly with the LACP checks, if we were to pick one of these uh, instances, for example, if I wanted to pull out this one, I can see that the playbook instance here is saying, I have a device called S1, and on S1, I have a lag AE8. And I expect that these two interfaces should be present in this link aggregation. And when I say present, what I mean is, is operationally correct. And in that case, for LACP, that would be in a collecting distributing state. And as HealthBot looks at the information that collected from the devices, it will use this information to decide whether or not that lag is healthy or not. So now we can go to the dashboard, and what we can see is, is we have errors happening in our network. And what that means is, based on the rules and the playbook instances that we just provided, 
the network is not operating as we expect it to be. And if we were to drill into one of these aspects, we can see that in this case, there is some issues with LACP in our leaf spine area. So the interfaces that we expect to be up are up. They are cabled correctly, but there happens to be an issue with LACP. And if I were to filter around on this, this is telling me that there's a lag on S1, AE8. And what it's saying is, is port Ethernet 8 is not in the collecting distributing state as we expect it to be. And likewise on L4, AE48 expects to have these two interfaces and it is not seeing port 48 in a collecting distributing state. So we can go to another aspect of this data center and we can see like uh, we have a spine group. So a spine group is two devices arranged together as a redundant pair. And here what we can see is uh, we have another uh, lag uh, on S1, which is AE34, and it expects to have only uh, port 34, and it does, so that's okay. But what we're also seeing is we're seeing an unexpected interface showing up in, in this lag. And it's saying, I'm seeing port 8. It doesn't belong here, so I'm just making you aware of it. And so with that collected information, a network engineer can say, oh, I see that this port, port 8, is not showing up where it needs to be, but I know where it is, so I know how to make a change and a fix. And really what this would amount to is somebody made a configuration change on S1 in a way that was not the expected state for this network. So uh, that's the demonstration that, that shows how the CLI can dynamically provision HealthBot as a result of doing a commit and uh, how we can use HealthBot to highlight areas of our data center to really focus in and drill on problems and then take action to resolve them. Thank you.